Hey y'all, it's Friday morning, and um, I'm feeling pretty good today. I, I think I still sound kind of funny, cause I got and I keep sniffing. So um, there's stuff in there, but I'm dealing with it. And I just spent a tremendous amount of time <laughs> putting together a video, and then I thought, you know what? I didn't said that. I've said it a couple of times, and I need to just stop saying it, because it's, um, uh, um, redundant. And so, um, it's been kind of weird, because, um, what's been weird is to read that journal, and, and know all the stuff that was going on. And see, most of that I can't even explain to you because, you know, I don't want to, I'm not going to bring people's names into it and stuff. So, it's kind of like I keep, it's like I write about it, but it has to be kind of cryptic. And I also don't want to give the impression that I'm still there. That was over a year ago. And yes, I came to a, wow, such a low place. And, yeah, we need to do that. <laughs> Until you come to an end of yourself, you can't be remade into the image of Yeshua. Because you're still fighting to be your image of yourself. I can't do that. Who I was is who I was. It's not who I am. And I think what's surprising is that it was kind of like everything up to that point had led to that point. And it took a total, total falling in a pit. And I would like to think <laughs> there are people out there that don't have to go through that in order to get to that place of, I am where I'm supposed to be. I am who I'm supposed to be. And stop striving stop trying to make yourself better because guess what i couldn't do it i kept trying because i thought that's what i was supposed to do and it was when i came to a total <laughs> i can't do it i'm i'm incapable my heart my heart is too wicked only, only Yahweh. And you know what? That scares me for people. I know what I had to go through in order to get here. And it's a whole lot easier in hindsight than it was going through it. Let me tell you, it was cold and dark and alone. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. I wanted to die. I just wanted to be done. It's too hard. And I, you know, when I think about the people I love having to walk that kind of hard path, it grieves me for them. And you know what that's taught me? That Yahweh looks down and he's like, oh, I'm sorry it took this baby, but you're hard headed. And I need you to change. And this is the only way it's going to happen. You know, there's a story. Um, not a story. Um, there's the teaching. Because I studied about shepherds when I was teaching my girls in homeschool. Do you know that a sheep that will not listen, that keeps running off, breaking the fence, going out, where they ain't supposed to be, that the shepherd will break that lambs or that sheep. He will break their legs. So, but they can't. They can't go anywhere. They can't do anything. And then guess what he does? He picks them up and he carries them wherever they need to be, puts them down, some graze in green pastures, 
and tends to their wounds until they heal. And guess what that teaches the lamb to stay with the shepherd. So that's where I am. <laughs> I had to have my legs broke. <laughs> And you know, it ain't a happy thing. I remember when I was training my girls and I taught them, if you disobey me, you are going to be punished. I'm going to spank you on your little hiney until you cry. And I gave them forewarning. And the day came. It didn't actually, the hour came because it didn't take long. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you're going to get three warnings. You've disobeyed me. You need to stop. And of course, they didn't stop. So, you've disobeyed me. You got the second warning. Okay, doggone it. Broke my heart. Took that little baby girl into the bathroom with a wooden spoon. And spanked her butt till she cried. And it took a while. It took quite a few smacks on the honey. And guess what? I cried. It hurt me so bad. <laughs> you know, parents say that. It hurts you. It hurts me more than it does you. Oh, it almost killed me. I was like, oh, it was just, it was hard. And I don't want to break the father's heart. I don't want to go running off out in the, in the fields over there. I just want to be where he wants me to be. So that's why I'm in the desert in Arizona. And I was talking to a guy the other day. I said, and I might have said this to y'all before. I've said it to somebody. Um, oh, I talked to Molly, my baby girl, the other day. And um, it's like, you know what? I'm just not much of a, a, a gypsy nomad. I, I kind of like to go to a place and settle in for a while. He said, well, actually, he said that is, that's kind of what a gypsy does. A nomad doesn't do that. that they just kind of travel around, keep going one place to place to place. But a gypsy kind of settles in for a while. So that's me. So, Patriska, yeah, that kind of fits. <laughs> Don't I look like a gypsy? Um, and, yeah. So that's what I'm doing, and oh my goodness, um, you know, there's there's so much when you move from one state to the other that um, you don't realize until you start trying to do it. You know, license tags and inspections and mail and uh, what else? All that license, driver's license. But oh my goodness, I'm going. I need to look into this. But I think. I might can get one of those driver's license that's kind of like a passport thing so that because I'm like the 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 um what is that down there see I don't know my geography that good but anyway I could go into Mexico and whatever the the gulf down there the gulf of Mexico water the ocean is it the ocean I guess it is the ocean is it the ocean Pacific Ocean I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. It's closer than the Walmart. And it would be a lot more fun. But it's in Mexico. And and Patriska, she don't want to be going to know Mexico and not able to get back to her homeland. Because I love me some America up here. So anyway, um, that's down the road. I don't know how far down the road, as far as time-wise. I know how far it is because I, I Google mapped it this morning, along with I have to go in the opposite direction to get my driver's license. So I've got, there's driver's license, my truck insurance, my tags and title and inspection. All of that has to happen. And I, I talked to the ladies in the office the other day, and they directed me to the nearest, like, DMV, which they call, I think they are MDV instead of DMV. 
It's like, okay. <laughs> Just like I'm not confused enough. <laughs> So, so anyway, I talked to him about that, and I also, I was like, what do I do with all the holes in my yard? Now, one woman, she was like, oh, that's where the little animals live. I'm like, uh, they, no, I'm asking the lady that lives here all the time what she does <laughs> about the holes, because, yes, if there's little animals living in there, that's what we, back home, we call it snake bait. <laughs> So, do I keep, do I keep the little holes or, and, and she looked at me, she was so funny, she just looked at me, she said, cover them up, she said, throw a rock in there and cover them up. <laughs> so, I was like, yes, ma'am, and I came home and I covered up holes, and I found, and, and as I'm, I'm kind of raking the dirt out and stuff, and I discover now, I'm going to have to look this up, too. I got a friend on here. She does all my research for me. She is so good at research. She is. She's why I know where to go get my driver's license and stuff and how to do that. And part of it I can do online. And she's found all kinds of good information for me that I got I to gotta have to change residence. So, Michelle, I think it's Michelle, because I was looking at your stuff this morning. Um... I need to know what them green rocks are. They're pretty. And they really show up in the desert because they're kind of a, they're southwestern colored. You know, when you picture that green and south, that's where they get it from. <laughs> and so I made a little circle around my tree. And um, the day I was covering up holes. And then this guy, he was so funny. It's the first time I've ever, it's the first time I remember doing this. He walks up, he's like, hi, and we're talking. I was waiting on the UPS guy to unload the truck. And we're talking, I looked at him, where are you from? Because he don't sound nothing like me. <laughs> he was from Maine. He's from Maine. He's a long, long way from home. And he suggested just take a stick and knock that um, mistletoe out of your tree. Well, duh. Now, I still can't. I've still got some up there I can't reach. I don't know how to get it down, but it'll kill my tree, and it's really distressing me. And I, I can just picture me getting on my little stepladder with a stick. People don't think I lost my mind. He also told me there's a tool shed. They might have one of those things, cutter things, that I could reach up. I forget what that branch, limb cutter, something, one of those things. It's got a saw on the end, and it's also got, like, pruning shears, and you reach it up there, and you pull that string, and it cuts things. Anyway, they might have one. I didn't look that day. Because with the head cold thing, every time I bend over when I walk and stuff, it was like my head was always hurting, and now I'm just kind of stuffy. But I'm getting better. Didn't have to go to the hospital like those people did. Um, and that's, it sounds awful. They said the flu is everywhere. Um, makes you not want to go anywhere. But anyway, um, uh, just stay home and cover holes and wait for the roadrunners to come. Yes, roadrunners are real. Y'all are so <laughs> Don't, it don't look like our, our, uh, cartoon roadrunner. I don't know where they got that from, but, um... Which is funny, but yeah, Roadrunners look a little bit different than that. And he was huge. I have seen Roadrunners before, but I didn't. He was really, really big. And I say he because he was, he actually had color and stuff on him, you know. Maybe that's, I've been seeing females instead of males. Um, so anyway, um, I guess that would be the squirrel report. It was all over the place, wasn't it? Um and I'm just going to stop because it's been a, it's already a long video. It'll take me a while to get it uh, doing. I'm going to go. I'm going to go today. I got shower. I'm going to go to Ajo and go to the grocery store. Uh, I got packages from Amazon coming. And there was something else. There's some other reason I was going to Ajo. Oh, there's a office, a local office thing there. I'm going to see if I can find it. Uh, one that 
I was told was there. And I might even go to the library. See, I'm feeling a lot better. I just feel a lot better. And um, so anyway, um, I hope y'all have a really lovely day today. Friday, the 19th of January. Can you believe it? January, so long. It's got 31 days, just like most of the months do. But for some reason, it just seems like it's a really long time. Usually because I'm in the snow, and I'm not in the snow. I got the sun shining on my back right now, and it feels so good. <laughs> I love y'all.